so today, uh, walking part of the trap line, uh, my brother had to borrow the snow machine today. Um, so, family day. Uh, so he's going ice fishing with the family. But, uh, so I'm just walking the part that has uh, footholds out. Um, because in our area, the footholds uh, have to be checked every 24 hours. So um, I'm just walking. It's uh, maybe two kilometers long, so it's not too far. Anyway, what I got here is uh, I got this roadkill deer. Uh, the ravens, eagles, and that have been after it a little bit. Not too much, but they've been after it a little bit. Um, and uh, I had um, foxes here. And uh, so, anyway, um, what I did was I made a, just like a hay mound, but not really hay mound set. It's, uh, cause there's not really any bait or anything, but it's close enough to the deer here that, um, I figure the foxes will try and get up on it and usually they try and pee or take a dump on it. So anyway, um. And the foothold is gone, so um, I'm gonna try and follow it here. Uh, it's probably hard to see on the camera, but there's some uh, drag marks up the snow machine trail here, so uh, you can see the haze leading away from the hay pile. So, anyway, um, so. Hopefully we got a fox, it might be a coyote or something too, but we'll try and looks like it's just staying on the snow machine trail. But anyway, um Yeah, we've had a few days now of uh really warm uh weather. And this morning it's right around the freezing mark, so there's pretty good crust, so whatever's dragging this is staying on top of the ice. I got a snare down there in the gully where the coyotes and foxes were crossing. Ah. See it tangled up, up ahead there in the fence line. Got ourselves a, another red fox. This makes fox number five off of this property. Just a hundred acre farm, so that's pretty good. Considering I only had traps set out for just over a month now, so that's pretty good for this area. Nice looking red. Got the drag there, you can see front foot catch. So anyway, get this guy dispatched. We'll take a look at him. Okay, so we got that <coughs> fox back to uh, back to the house here. And uh, just wanted to show you guys a couple things. Um, one is, this is that's how deep, deep a catch I got on them. A good two and a half inches or so. Um, and this is what I'm running for Fox. I'm running the Duke number two offsets. I got uh, about five or six feet of chain. And then I just got it uh, a hole drilled through 
this uh, sapling and uh, bolt it on it's uh, oh, probably about three feet of two inch diameter uh, alder uh, green it's good and solid um, these drags also work great for uh, coyote um, it don't take long for them to uh, get tangled up in, in stuff uh, trying to drag three feet of trees through the bush uh, for either fox or coyote but uh, anyway, uh, those Duke number twos, um, they do work good for Fox. Uh, no complaints. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll get him hung up. Actually, her. It's another female. This is my third female. Uh, we'll get her uh, hung up and skinned out today and uh, get her stretched. Um, I got uh, Today's the 21st of February. So, uh, Fox closes uh, the 28th of February. So, I got another week of uh, trapping these guys. And uh, at the same time, I will be pulling um, all my snares and all my traps up uh, for the canines. Uh, just because, um, well, I mean, I have to close it down on Fox. And uh, there's... Um, a lot of warm weather in store for us and uh, I mean that'll put us into March and so time to close her down I think um, I may leave a few snares out for coyotes uh, just to try and get a few rid of a few more but uh, for the most part I'll be shutting her down here in another week so I was glad to get her today um, I was hoping to get another one Actually, I'm hoping to get one more and make it a, uh, a total of six fox this year off of my property, which uh, would be really great. Um, so, anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned, and hopefully we get something more this week.